Hey, good evening. This is David Knapp with Trout Zone Anglers, and I'm here to share a really quick and easy um, variation on a hot spot pheasant tail nymph. Um, we're going to do this on a jig hook. You can see I've got a black bead and a, uh, I think this is a size 16 jig hook. Um, just using some basic black 6 aught thread. I'm going to tie in my wire right here and gonna wrap that forward. I'm using just some cheap copper wire I picked up at Hobby Lobby, but um, you can use ultra wire, small would work real fine, brassy would probably be fine. I'm gonna go down just a little into that bend, just give it just a little bit of shape. Um, got my wire in, I'm ready for my pheasant tail. So I've got a nice clump of pheasant tail here. You can see I'm going to take out a nice section there, maybe five or six fibers. And going to tie that in for a tail, probably about the width of the gap of the hook, maybe a little less actually, um, since this is a uh, wide gap hook being a jig. Um, and I'm going to just tie that almost to the front then I'm going to double it back over on itself and come all the way back this is just going to make it a little more durable and throw a half hitch in there and I'll pull my bobbin cradle around and see if I can use that rotary feature on the vise to make things easier for myself I'm just going to wind the pheasant tail fibers forward and they don't have to get all the way to the bead, but you need them to be far enough up there. Looks like one of those fibers just broke, so I'm going to make sure I catch it with my thread. There it is. Good to go. And I'm going to clip those down, leave just a little bit of those butt ends. I'm just going to kind of double them back over on themselves with my thumb. Build that up just a little bit there. Um, take your copper wire that we tied in we're just all this really is is reinforcing the fly the copper wire um yeah it's a little flash maybe the fish like that i don't know but um you could fish it just fine without that but it's reinforcing that pheasant tail which has a real bad tendency to break so i'm going to clip that nice and short with my scissors that i don't want to worry too much about. I also have my nice scissors that I use for fine detail stuff and I don't want to cut wire with them. So, um, all right, there's your fly. We're just about done. Um, literally this simple. Some peacock eye stub. I could also use the traditional um, peacock curl. It really, it doesn't matter a whole lot. I really like I stub and I use it in as many patterns as I can. I'll just be honest. It's a fantastic material that um, hairline sells and just makes a lot of flies just that much more fishy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna err on the side of caution with this. We don't want this getting too built up. So get a little in there. Looks like we could handle a little more. And that's getting pretty close. I might go just a touch more. Um, the one thing with the ice dub is it's real spiky and it will have a tendency to come out over time. So I like doing just a little at a time in multiple layers because that thread, each time it's coming over the old dubbing, it's going to just reinforce it that much. So um, that looks pretty good. I've got a good thorax built up there. You can see just kind of rotating it. Got some extra fibers. I'll pull them out. Um, that's a good fly. If we wanted to quit right now, that fly's done. There's nothing wrong with that fly. That fly will fish. But um, I'm going to tie in a hot spot, and there's a lot of ways we could do that. Probably um, easiest way would be for me to go ahead and just tie this off with my black thread um, just in case something goes wrong with the hot spot. I'm going to go ahead and just finish it, and that fly is done right there. If I needed that fly to fish, that way I'm, I'm satisfied. So the hot spot's kind of a bonus. I'm For this particular hot spot, I'm gonna use some 6 aught Fire Orange Uni Thread. And all I'm gonna do is just tie in one, and I'm gonna grab that tag in and come around 
two, three, and I'm going to clip it, give it another turn, maybe two turns, maybe three turns, and I'm going to finish it. This is one of those unusual variations on a fly that when it works, you're going to think that you've you've literally cracked the, the code and you're always going to catch a ton of fish when it works. The funny thing is there's days that this is the, the best thing you could do and there's plenty of days where this isn't going to catch any fish but uh, just a natural pheasant tail will catch all the fish in the world. So I like having them on hand and just whip finished that thread. I like having them on hand. Now here's the cool thing. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this in the video. Let me make sure that my focus is good here. Um, let's see, I think that's as good as we're going to get. Um, here's a cool thing. I'm going to use a UV light here. I'm going to turn off the light. It's pretty dark. I want you to notice something. Can you see the hot spot glow in that UV light? Now I'm going to turn my light back on. All right, so there's the fly. I'm gonna get in real close. You can still see that hot spot glowing just right there. Don't see it. Looks bright in the light. I put that UV light on it. And it's there. So here's the cool thing. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do a separate video on hot spots and and, and UV materials. Um, but that stuff is is not a cure all all the time. But some days. That's going to be exactly what the fish want, and it's it's all about triggers. Figure out what triggers um, the fish to bite, and um, try to work as many of those triggers into your flies. Now, it's possible to put too many triggers in a fly, and it's just overkill. Um, you know, some of the modern streamers nowadays catch a, catch a lot of fish, but you know, some of them are, are getting almost overkill with just so many triggers. And um, you know, I think you can spend too much time tying a fly and just going crazy. But um, when it's as simple as just putting just a little extra thread into a fly it's worth tying a few like i said don't tie all your flies this way but tie a few um try them the next time you're out and just see how it works uh hope it works for you let me know what you think and good luck